In this video, I'll show you how to measure amps. It's different from voltage measurement, where you measure the potential difference or uh, electromotive force between a positive and a negative battery terminal or uh, power source. Amps are different. It's measured between power and power. I'm going to do a non-contact amp measurement on this one. And this is going to be DC amps, and I'm going to set it to the highest possible just in case, because I don't know how many volts I'm going to measure. I don't want to overload the device and fry it if I exceed 60 amps by any chance. And uh, this is a clamp-on meter, so it can clamp around the either the battery's cable where I can get to it or any kind of cable, uh, but you have to make sure that there's only one wire in the cable. So, the battery's negative terminal is one possible option for that. It's a little tricky to follow it and there's other cables around it. At one spot here where it goes to the starter motor and the starter motor is just let me get my hand in there. The starter motor is uh, I can't put my hand on it but uh, in the middle of the picture now you're staring at the starter motors rubber boot and where its uh, terminal is going into it that's the starter motors cable leading into that little rubber boot there you can see a little better the, you're staring at the starter motor mounting bolt as well so I'm gonna clamp my clamp meter around it the cable that is just just give me a sec here I'm gonna need two hands so I'm gonna be staring at uh, who knows what uh, my camera is just gonna be balancing somewhere here just give me a sec here There about alrighty. I'm clamped in. And the unit still reads. Now we're going upside down. Still reads zero volts and sorry, zero amps, my bad. There, with minimal glare. I know it says 0 0.9 amps, don't worry about it. It's a sensitive thing to uh, static electricity and everything. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna switch the. Just give me a sec here. Bike is switched on. Now I'm pulling my clutch and let's see what we can get out of this. Oh, I forgot to press the minimum maximum button. I'm gonna measure the maximum amps running through. All right, let's fire this one up. I see we have 62 amps there. The previous measurement was uh, 75 that I did. So uh, let me just uh, repeat this one because I didn't quite hit the starter button all at once. Set it back to 600 amps. It's a good thing I set it to 600 amps, eh? I would have fried it because it's uh, over 60 amps in, uh, by, uh, by any means. Let me just put it. Uh, there and sorry guys this camera just doesn't want to stay here there that's semi tolerable everything is just balancing on edge let's see that measurement again sorry didn't set it to maximum okay one last time Alright, 77 amps. Okay, so that's why when you try to check your battery and you try to check voltage, if you connect the voltmeter wrong or something, you know, don't try to measure amps on this one with any uh, any other ammeter other than a clamp one that can take huge ampere uh, loads, okay? And this one is over 70, like 77, whatever it is. So, that's how to use an ammeter.